Hello and welcome back. In this video I want to show you how to disassemble a water pump or pool pump. Let's get started. First of all we open the three screws at the end of the motor that is covering the fan. Then we can Open the screws separating the motor and the main plastic part here to, to be seen on the left where, is, where there is the water input and output. Then it is possible to separate both parts and remove the black plastic ring that makes the motor keep the water inside. Then we can remove the two plaster rings that are there to keep the incoming water going to the pump. Now we can open up the electrical part. This can be done by removing the four screws. Then we can simply pop away the plastic part and remove the electronic cable. Furthermore, we can remove the two white cables that are connected to the capacitor inside of the, on the black cylinder on the left. After that, we can remove the plastic thingy that connects the metal cased motor and the remaining plastic piece. Now, we come to the most difficult step. We need to somehow lock the motor so that we can simply screw up the remaining plastic piece on the other end of the motor. This can be done by simply inserting a long metal piece inside the hole of the motor. This is typically at the bottom and there is always a hole where you can put the metal in. Then that the motor is locked we can like a screw remove the plastic piece. After removing the plastic covering there are four screws revealed. When we open these we have successfully separated the motor from the plastic housing. Now I want to quickly explain how the motor pump works with this beautiful blue water drop. As you can see here, the, there is the water input. The water is then going through this rough mesh in order to keep big um, dust out and then is channeled through these two plastic rings to go to the motor. Like you can see here. The most important part is, is this plastic thing. You can see that the incoming water gets inside on the other side like you can see right here. And then there's the question what's, ha what's happening inside it and where is the rotation involved? As you can see in this, in this schematic, that's how the thing looks inside. Now the water at the inside is, as you can see in the video, pushed out and then into a second chamber that is connected to the outcome. And because that there, there is always a lot of water coming in, there is a lot of pressure on the second chamber and, and the water begins to spill out at the output. Now let's put everything back together and hope that it works. Therefore we put the four screws back in, then put the plastic covering on top and don't forget to put in the plastic ring. Then 
we lock the motor and put the circle back on. Then we can put the other plastic part on and screw the eight screws back in. And then we can do the electrics, plug them in and connect the power cable and screw the plastic housing on top. Then we can put this tiny little plastic square under the motor and we're good to go. Now, as you can see in the picture, I want to try it out. And as you can see on the bottom, the fan where I haven't been putting the covering back on, um, you can see that it is spinning. So we put it successfully back together. Now we need to put the fan covering back on. Just screw these three screws back in. So that is how you disassemble a water pump. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then subscribe. Stay curious and bye.